I'm Harlan Kelly, the General Manager of the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission. Since our inception, the PUC has embraced the spirit of innovation. We're continuing our groundbreaking work right here in our building. In 2012, we installed a living machine within our building, which collects and treats all of the wastewater that we produce, and then we reuse that water to flush our toilets and our urinals. With the system, we've been able to save over 60% of our potable water. So building off of all of the work that the SFPUC has been doing in water reuse, the natural next step for us is to purify water to drinking water standards. We know we have the technology to do it. Pure Water SF is a research project that takes that idea and puts it into practice in our building. The Pure Water SF system takes the recycled water from the living machine and puts it through a small-scale advanced water purification process. Like other purification facilities in California, the Pure Water SF system provides a three-step purification process. Ultrafiltration, reverse osmosis, and advanced oxidation with ultraviolet light. With ultrafiltration, water passes through very fine hollow fibers that have openings as small as 1 1,000th the width of a human hair. This process removes particulates or tiny particles of dirt, sand, and sediment as well as bacteria and protozoa. The water is then tested for clarity, dissolved organic carbon, chlorine, and nitrates. Next, with reverse osmosis, the water is put through a special membrane at high pressure to remove viruses, dissolved salts, and most organic compounds. This is the central part of the process where the majority of the purification takes place. The water then undergoes online water quality testing to document how well the process removes chemicals and microorganisms. The testing also measures pH, temperature, chlorine, nitrates, and clarity. The water then goes through its final purification step, advanced oxidation with ultraviolet light. This combined process exposes the water to ultraviolet light and an oxidant which sterilizes the water and eliminates remaining organic compounds. Through this point in the process, water testing is conducted at every step to ensure that each element of our system is efficiently and effectively removing the microorganisms it was designed to remove. At the end of the approximately 30-minute process, we're able to confirm that all the treatment goals are achieved, and we compare the purified water to drinking water standards. We then go one step further to gain a more holistic understanding of the water we're producing. We run a test that can indicate any trace of compounds, such as pharmaceuticals and personal care products, which are ordinarily very difficult to detect. With this testing, we're trying to go beyond understanding what's been removed toward a better understanding of what remains in the water. After all this extensive testing, the water is put back into the building's toilet flushing system for reuse. Data from this project will help the SFPUC identify new research objectives and potential applications for purified water. At the state level, our data can help inform development of regulations for future water reuse. Pure Water SF gives me a chance to use technologies that aren't from the wastewater treatment process. I'm using ultrafiltration, reverse osmosis, UV with disinfection. These are all things that combine to make living machine effluent to a drinking water standard. That's exciting, it's something new, it's something innovative, and we're doing it on a building scale. I've always wanted to work here. It's LEED certified, it's got the latest and greatest technology and a pioneering water recycling system. That is the future for all buildings in the city. We take a lot of pride in our Pure Water SF and we're committed to strengthening our water supply for generations to come.